That's a good one. Hmm. What is it, Richard? To be fully transparent, I just asked Justin to learn that one about two minutes ago, right? Well, what, Maybe two minutes ago. Yeah, but what is it? It's Leonard Cohen, famous blue raincoat. That's, yep. Yep. <laughs> hmm. It's a pretty song. Yeah, yeah, he's a great, he's, he's yeah. One of the greatest ever. He's not somebody I've gone head first with, but uh, I enjoy what I hear. Man, there's one, I won't bring it up now, but there's a song that the Benevento Russo duo cover, or maybe it was just Marco Benevento. I think it was just Marco Benevento. But the Benevento Russo duo, you ever heard of them? Mm -mm. <sighs> Marco Benevento. Yeah, maybe Joe Russo. Joe Russo is one of the greatest drummers in the world. Holla. Hey everybody, welcome back to Great Measures. My name is Richard. This is Judson. We Great Measures, man. It's been a long time now. Probably Great Measures. Four or five months, I guess, since we've done a Deep Purple song. <clears throat> um, lifetime ago. Yeah, it was. We did. Uh, what did we do? I don't remember what we did. It was. Uh, blank on what the song is called now. Try to do the whole song. Yeah, I'm blank. I went completely blank on what it's called. Me too. That's all right. Is it? What? That's the song, yeah. Hmm. I just can't remember the title of it. Something fantastical. I am completely blank. All right, well, this is... Uh... If you remember, just tell us. Yeah, if it hits, if it hits me, I'll let you know. Uh, so this song is called Highway Star. We talked about it in that uh, in that video. Uh, it is from 1972's Machine Head. I got in trouble with that one because we didn't watch the live or we didn't listen to the live version um, from Japan. What was the name of the song from Japan that we didn't listen to the live Don't version? Don't do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember either. I've got Silver Chair in my head right now. I have oh, no idea God. why. Okay. Well. <laughs> I have no idea why. And so I can't imagine where you are. Isn't it a song about fantastical? It was like a... Uh, uh... Child in time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I couldn't get the word exile out of my head for whatever reason. Wow. Well, I, I still got know. silver chair in my head for whatever reason. For some reason, ex... Okay, anyways. So this is going to be the version live from japan um song is called highway star 1972's machine head is the album deep purple is the band and we'll just go with it all right then ready to roll hit me you child in time
You're such a child in time. <laughs> Song before. Okay, I, I knew you had a look about you whenever we. Well, it was on Dazed and Confused. Ah, that's right, that's right. Okay, okay. Though any music on that, I would have heard it before. I got you. Okay. I like that movie. Got gotcha. you. That's cool. We can go ahead and do it anyways. We did. Well, I mean, like, there's no point in not talking about it for sure. No, I never said that either. Yeah. Golly. Uh, yeah, this it's a good song. Yeah, they're hype. The organ solo was cool. Mm hmm Did they, in the studio version, did they do that thing on, on the guitar where he was... Uh, Not as much, no. He was... Towards the end there. Yeah, he does that. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So cool. The chord progressions in this song are so cool. They go a lot of different places. Like, you got to be on your game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I think, you know, Richie Blackmore is known, and, and obviously John Lord on the keys, like, there's some classical uh, oh, influence yeah, yeah. in there, for sure. For sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. It's hard. So, when we did Child in Time, uh, and everybody was saying, like, you know, you should, not everybody, but a lot of people were saying you should have done this version, right? So... In my time looking for this version of Highway Star, because I knew that would be the next song that we did, uh, you learn a lot about a band and looking for their live footage, I think, okay. or this band in particular. So, What did you learn, Richard? It seems like the consensus is that Richie Blackmore might have been. Might, might be a difficult person to deal with. Might be why Deep Purple does not exist anymore. <laughs> uh, so there's like later footage, uh, maybe from the 80s. I don't know. I, I'm probably wrong on the dates, but or it may have been like when they, they might have gotten back together in the 90s or something because the footage looks like it's from the 90s. And there's one there's one video in particular where I, I think it's Highway Star that they're playing. He's just non-existent. He does, he's not on the stage. For like the first minute of the song, he's not on the stage. And I got to read through the comments, and it was apparently he demanded that there be no photographers or cameras. Even though they're doing shooting a live video, no cameras on the stage. Not even like on the side stage. And... There was one guy filming from off stage on the right side, I think. And like I said, Richie Blackmore doesn't, he's not anywhere to be seen. You don't even hear the guitar. It's just bass, keys, and, and drums and vocals for the first I don't know, minute of the song. I don't know if the singer was there, it had started yet, but all of a sudden that side view camera, you see like water pour over the lens and Richie Blackmore had thrown a water bottle from the other side of the stage and was basically like, get off the stage, I'm coming out. Weird. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I, I was going to show you the video, but from what I found, the video is not from the actual show that we're listening to. The hmm. show we're listening to is in Japan. The footage was from the Netherlands. So things don't sync up, mm -hmm. especially 1970s, you know, mm -hmm. editing and all that stuff was not where it should have been. 
Um, so I didn't show you the video, and that's the reason I didn't show the video. But um, well, yeah, had- that song's always been Space Trucking is another one. They I don't know if you know Space Trucking. Was it on Days and Confused? I don't think so. It was on Ash versus the Evil Dead. That's. Mm, I don't think I've seen that. It was one. a Stars series with Bruce Campbell. Yeah, I like the Bruce Campbell stuff. I, mm. I haven't seen that though. Sorry, I got off topic. I just no, no. I, I learned in my deep purple research that apparently Richie Blackmore has a reputation for not being the easiest person to deal with. Well, that's a bummer. He's a genius though, fantastic guitar player, but doesn't want to be filmed on stage. Well, doesn't want to have cameras on stage. I wonder why. I don't know. Or at that time. It may not be now, but at that mm. time, that was the case. Yeah, well, it's a cool song musically. I guess the song is just about being on the road. Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, from what I can tell from the lyrics, it's like uh, an ode to your car. Right? <laughs> okay. Like, um, he apparently, in, from the what I gather of it, he races cars. Hmm. And his car is his pride, and this is like his okay. tribute to his car. Interesting. I just like the... Excuse me. Shit. That's a cool part of the yeah. song, you know? Um, and then they go... All the way up to to the to the, and they do everything in A and the chorus and then back to yeah music that song's cool yeah and so he plays so sixties and 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 how he and the guitar player plays so sixties really. Yeah, that that's Jimi Hendrix, man. Oh, okay. okay. But then some of the other down that 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 uh, I don't want to sit here and sing all the riffs, but yeah, it's a '60s sound to me, and especially with the with the well, organ. Well, it is '72, so it might yeah, have, they yeah. might have been starting to write it in the '60s. Yeah, I mean they're still doing '60s stuff then. I mean, it's, you know, Stephen reminds me of Steppenwolf. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Um, they were crazy. Yeah, their organ player. That's on LSD, I think. Okay. Or maybe maybe not forever, but had a bad episode. I don't know if he had a bad episode. He was just a crazy person. Oh. But he, but he, they were cool. They were cool musically. They were some. But I mean, they were all up in the '60s. Yeah. Anyway, I like that electric guitar or organ. The combo. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It's hard to beat. They cover each other really well. Mm-hmm. Maybe and the tone that. of that organ too, mm-hmm. it's got a little bit of a, a dirt to it. Yeah, is that a Hammond? Do you that? A... Mm, I'm not sure. But I mean, either way, um, they just cover each other well, and then they play good. They play well together. I don't know. It's just a, it's just a nice yeah mix there of instruments. Well, cool. Still not all the way into the guy singing. Yeah, yeah. What's his name? Uh, Ian Gillum. Mm. Yeah, I, just, I still just. I mean, it's good for this, you know, but I I don't know. I don't know. Okay. The vibrato hollering. Not holler. It's not hollering. Right. Yeah. The range and stuff. I mean, it goes. I don't want to say I don't like it. I just, it doesn't appeal to me. Okay. As much sometimes. Interesting. I don't know. All right. We'll see if we can find one that you will like. Vocally. I like that. I mean, I, you know, that song was 70s for sure. I, I mean, I like that song, and I, I had heard it. I, I think I'm only familiar with it because of Dazed and Confused. Gotcha. For okay. sure. Okay, cool. Still, though. Well, good. We'll go, we'll go further with Deep Purple. Mm-hmm. Thanks for watching, everybody. We are Great Measures. My name is Richard. This is Judson. That was Highway Star by Deep Purple, live in Japan from 1972's Machine Head. Great measures. Have a wonderful day, everybody.